In this tutorial, I'm going to show you very quickly how you can create a page that allows your Instagram feed to go all the way across the full width of your page. Some people put this in their footer. I don't do it that way. I like to create a index page and put it in one of the pages of that index within Squarespace. And so that way it doesn't always show in my footer. So let's go through this step by step and you, I'm sure you're going to be able to knock this out in no time. So the first thing that I do is I create um, a page in an index where I want my Instagram feed to go. So in this, this is my live website. I'm showing you exactly what I've done. So I have a lot of pages in my index. And so at the very bottom, there's a page that's solely dedicated to the Instagram feed. I simply click on that and that um, page just has the Instagram uh, social block built into it. That's it. I have it set to eight images wide um, and I like no space in between uh, in the gutters. So that is how that is set up. But once that is there, the next thing you need to identify is what is your URL slug? This is important for when we go to edit some custom CSS. So mine is Instagram dash one. So you can either copy that or just remember what it is and we'll type it out in just a moment. The next thing you're going to want to do is go into your custom CSS. I have quite a bit of custom CSS in here, but here's the thing that you're going to want to pay attention to. I've just labeled it Instagram block full width CSS. So the first thing you're going to type in there is a hashtag with the URL slug at the very end of it as your label. Okay. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to copy paste this information and that's going to remove the padding on both sides. Now this is specifically set up for index pages. It won't work if you try to do this someplace else like your footer, you'll have to use different labels. But if you're going to do it like I do, which now I can link this to any index page and I can have that same Instagram feed automatically in there. Or if I wanted to do this really specifically, I would just type in that uh, page URL slug. So that's how you create a full width um, page in in Squarespace using a, just a little bit of custom code and I will put that in the blog post for you so you can just copy paste that and be on your way. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.